Hello and welcome back. We will be looking at cloud concepts, especially the public cloud model in this lesson. Over the next few lessons, we will be looking at public, private and hybrid cloud models. In this lesson, we will be looking at public cloud model and what all of this really represents at the end of the day are just different ways to consume Azure services or different ways to deploy resources to the cloud or to the data center. Now, with the public cloud model, the most of the important piece of that is it is a multi-tenant implementation. When I say multi-tenant implementation, what exactly it means? Well, it means that multiple tenants or multiple customers are sharing the same set of resources or hardware uh, or maybe a storage servers, uh, things like that on the cloud. Let's take one of the example. Let's say there are two companies and they both have virtual machines in Microsoft Azure platform. It might be possible that both companies' virtual machines actually exist on a same physical server and that is a good representation of public cloud model. There's multiple tenants, multiple customers using the same hardware, storage, things like that. Now, within the public cloud model, all the hardwares that are being used is owned by, operated by a service provider. In this case, it, it can be a Microsoft, so it's a Microsoft Azure as a cloud service provider. It can be micro, uh, Amazon AWS or Google provider, maybe G Suite. So things like that. In our case, uh, owned and operated by completely Microsoft, so we we have the Azure as the service provided. And so some of the pros with the each of these models are no upfront capital expenses. So let's talk on that pros. We don't have any upfront cost to actually buy hardware ourselves. And because of all these hardware and the service things like that are in already in Microsoft Cloud and there's no maintenance on our end uh, to pay. We simply used uh, we simply consume the resources that are using or uh, that are at the Microsoft end and we simply log in from the Microsoft Azure portal and we use them and Microsoft uh, will pay for the Azure staff with the uh, to make that hardware or the resources to be up and running for us. So that's the high level of, you know, reliability and scalability purpose and the maintenance. So it's not our job here. So many Microsoft Azure data centers and they're so big uh, with public cloud model gives us a very easy scalability and we can quite easily scale up. So as many as resources starting from one to 10,000 servers, we can easily spin up in no time. So again, with the public cloud model, what we're really looking at is using the hardware that shared across multiple customers. Now that's not to say that one customer's application or systems using uh, maybe a cloud brings uh, down an entire server and affecting another customers. Microsoft makes sure that uh, situations like that are managed and a customer facing an impact doesn't bleed out to other customers. So right off the bat, let's not worry about our system is being compromised by another customer. There are protections built in for that. But at the same time, it is still a lot cheaper for Microsoft to put many different customers into one server so that they can get the most utilization out of their servers as possible and in return be able to make the most profit and then offer the lowest prices for the customers and the cycle continues. That's what we even learned in the previous lectures. So. So most of the use of the cloud at this point is actually being used by public cloud model. But one of the cons that we wanted to look at that is less customizable since we have less access over the hardware. Since we have less control over the actual physical servers, there's a less customizations that can do around the server hardware and security uh, things like that. And another uh, con potentially for the public 
cloud model is more latency within our request since our request now going to an off-site data center uh, somewhere on the Azure data center there's might be some additional time in our request getting to the data center and being served because it's not in our on-premises we are not sitting on on-premises we are sitting on a internet trying to connect to the Microsoft data center now with Azure there's so many different regions this is probably not luckily but it could be the case for uh, each application that you are thinking about moving the cloud which is a public cloud model uh, you need to take a look at where your customers are located and if latency will be an issue and finally one of the bigger uh, con with the public cloud model for certain industries or type of applications or potential for governance issues so that uh, w what exactly it means that is the governance issues means like a financial industry such things they don't want to uh, give the data to store on the public cloud instead they wanted to store it on their own on-premises servers so that's where uh, we're gonna learn about the private cloud models or hybrid cloud models so there's a lot of uh, rules uh, within this specific uh, potential governance issues or regulations about how data is stored or where it is stored things like that within the financial industry and as you can imagine some rules and regulations requires that organizations store data on site or store in a specific way uh, that they have uh, some kind of a control and various aspects of it uh, now if you're using the public cloud model uh, right off the bat we are not storing data on site and we may have all the control that we need and how data is stored so with the public cloud model works for a large variety of use cases there are some of where you may need that extra little bit of control that you don't quite get with the public model public cloud model so just be aware that with the public cloud model and sharing hardware across different customers you may run into issues with a few particular applications now we will get into how to address this when we look at hybrid and private cloud later but to summarize we will remember that the public cloud model is a multi-customer uh, specific one uh, that means a uh, multiple customers serving from the same servers or maybe who knows where resources are shared across several different customers that adds up to no upfront fees and lower price for us in a long run since Microsoft can manage getting the most of uh, most out of their service for us and we don't have to worry about any of that so I hope this has helped a kind of explanation for the public cloud model. I'll see you in the next lecture. Thank you for watching this.